first steps were unbelievable. There was a lot of people there, because I'd been here so long, that were uh, rooting for me and almost had to stop because I was crying so hard. Everybody was crying. So even though there was a part of Stephen's uh, right brain that was damaged from the stroke, highly intensive uh, therapies, challenging, task-specific, three hours a day of therapy in the first month to three months after the stroke has the greatest opportunity for the brain to make new connections around the injured area of the brain. When Steve first got here, we were unable to stand. He needed two people to transfer. We were unable to walk. I don't think she ever gave up on me. I think I did a few times because I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. He had deficits in the areas of attention, so some of his speech was a little bit slurred. So we were able to do strategies, and he was willing to learn those strategies and implement them so that he can talk to everyone. So some things, he still has trouble with some movements on that left leg. The EXO forces him into the correct pattern that we're looking for, and it gives him cues that we're unable to do otherwise. This was a man who was a mechanic, um, and also worked out in the gym. He has worked incredibly hard. He's inspiring to watch work. He's really motivated to make as much progress and regain as much independence as he can so he can return to his life. We've just addressed everything across the board that we could to get him back to his daily living skills. He's been a pleasure to work with. I'm definitely gonna miss him when he leaves. It's it a little bit easier every day. It's just. A lot of repetitions, and they told me that it takes a thousand repetitions to get you to learn how to walk. I just can't believe how, how good the staff is here. And every one of them has the same thought, and that's to get you better or whoever they're working with better and get them up and, and running. Yeah!